Hello and welcome to our next tutorial. In this tutorial we'll try to cover the quests and how we set them up. So the first thing you want to do is go into streaming assets, you find the original folder, take the data folder, or better off just take the quest folder, copy it, then go to your mods, and in here you create the data folder and in there you put the quest folder and delete all the quests except for one I already prepared this now so just take one of the quests and um, uh, open it up in mono develop Now what you want to focus on first is the name your quest. This one is called bar hunt. Uh, Q underscore is something that we have as a naming convention. You don't have to follow it. Title will be displayed on screen. There are two types of quests, mandatory and secondary. Every quest has goal IDs and in this quest we'll have three. You can easily add another one by just copy, paste, and change the goal to three and four. But we're not going to do that now. So this quest is based on finding three bars. Uh, once you found them all, you complete the quest. I'm just going to try to shortly explain how the quest works. Basically, there are uh, five types of states. Whenever a JSON file is created and put into the game, as we've done now, it's a new quest, so it's loaded when the game runs. The next step is to make it active, and that's when it pops up on screen. Completed quests are completed, and will also give you a reward. Failed quests are moved back to being new and removed quests are just removed altogether. The first thing you want to do is move it from new to active. So we're going to do that. And this is the scene that I showed you guys in a previous tutorial. I just added three bars, another trigger zone. Uh, they're all empty right now. I haven't put anything in. I just prepared it. So this trigger is the on sector load. Previous we used the on zone enter. So on sector load runs every time the sector loads in here. We type in quests.update goal. Sorry, update quest. And we say Q bar hunt. And it's now active. And you run that once. So now when we start the game, <coughs> it should activate our new quest. And there we go. Up in the left corner you'll see our new quest. Um, it only says find all bars and we haven't put in the triggers so nothing happens when you go through bars. So the next step I would say is that we want to show the player that he or she needs to find bar number one, bar number two, bar number three. And not necessarily in order, but when all three bars are found, the quest is complete. So to update the goal objectives on, on uh, screen as well, we need to update the quest, update goal. And we say it's still Q bar hunt. And Uh, it's G1 that we want to set to active. Sorry for mistyping, I have a microphone in front of me. Uh, let's go back to the quest and see it's G1 and we're setting G1 to active. So basically we want to do the same thing for G2 and G3. Some quests you might want to have them in order, and this one will activate all three at once. Yeah. 
So let's try that, see if it works. And it does. So now I have all objectives on, on uh, screen as well. So the next step is to complete each objective or goal when you visit each bar. So I already prepared connecting the trigger to the zone as I showed you in a previous tutorial. Uh, in the effect script we'll say quest update goal and then Q underscore bar hunt and we set it to G1 uh, to complete it and the same thing goes for the next bar this is G2 completed and the third one as well So when we go up to each bar now, the <coughs> goal will update and change from active to completed. And as you can see, there is a plus sign before find bar, uh, finding bar number one, which means um <coughs> the objective is now updated and completed. Uh, on screen, the, this pop-up text takes a while to update, so just look in the upper left corner. Finding bar number two works and finding bar number three. So the next step is that when all three bars are found, the quest should be complete. And it shouldn't matter which order you do it in. So we have to do a check on each of these three triggers to see if all bars are visited. So <clears throat> we need to put in, in the condition script for each trigger, we need to check if each goal is completed. So quests, get goal, state, q underscore bar hunt, g1, and check if it's active or sorry completed and if it's completed it will run this which is incorrect because we want to have this as another trigger we cut that out we put in another trigger and also connect that one to the same zone So if bar hunt goal number one is completed and goal number two is completed and goal number three is completed, then see if I can find the other one. We will update the quest bar hunt to completed. Now this only works in the fir first bar, so <coughs> if this should work, you have to go back to the first bar. So we want to take this trigger and put it to the other ones as well. like that and this should be enough so <coughs> bar number one bar number two and bar number three and the objectives disappear uh, on screen you will see that the objective is completed and you will get a reward as well now we haven't put in a reward, uh, I'm going to show you that next. If you want to add something, uh, you can add it to the completion script here. 
um, where you can add money or, or uh, uh, an item perhaps. Next up for tutorials will be dialogues. So in that tutorial I think we'll, we can tie it all together.